That's beautiful. That's why I can't divorce that joker. <laughs> Will Smith has thoughts about Jada Pinkett Smith's bombshell memoir. The Oscar winner penned a heartfelt letter to his estranged wife on the heels of her anticipated book, Worthy. Jada joined Jay Shetty for the October 16th episode of his podcast and got emotional over hearing Will's reaction to reading her life story in her words, with Will sounding empathetic about Jada's latest venture. If I had read this book 30 years ago, I definitely would have hugged you more. I'll start now. Welcome to the Authors Club. I love you endlessly. Now go get some Merlot and take a rest. <laughs> he know I can't have no Merlot. Jada was visibly moved over Will's message and joked that his supportive response only highlights why their marriage has stayed in limbo for so long. It is amazing to realize that despite having lived most of my life by your side, I still found myself shocked and stunned and caught off guard, laughing, then inspired, then heartbroken. I was all over the place. It's one thing to hear anecdotes at a family barbecue, but it was truly overwhelming to take in your story potently condensed in this way. You are one of one, a rare blend of power and delicate sensitivity. That's beautiful. That's why I can't divorce that joker. <laughs> Yeah. The latest development follows Jada's explosive revelation that she and the actor have been secretly separated for seven years. The Red Table Talk co-host previously confirmed the news to today's Hoda Kotb and explained why they kept the situation to themselves until she was ready to share the full story in her book. Just not being ready yet. Mm. Still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah. how to be in partnership, right? And in regards to how do we present that to people, you know? And we hadn't figured that out. Jada noted to Hoda how multiple factors led to her and Will's marriage fracturing and why despite living separate lives, they still don't plan to file for divorce. By the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we were both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. 